Hello beautiful, today we are here to talk about my indie brand. I have a lot. Let me say that a lot is not representative of the collection I have from... Okay, I was saying that I have a lot from indie, so let's get started. I have video not of every single palette I'm showing you, but if you check in my channel, you will find a dedicated playlist for each brand. So the first one is Lethal is Dead from Little Cosmetics. And this is, I have already recorded a three looks, one palette video. And let me say that this shade here called Spellbound is the best shade of the palette. It, it, it's so beautiful and pretty. I love uh, uh, Little Cosmetics palette. They have so great, so, so great look. This is a very nice lavender shade. And then let's go ahead. Uh, still from Little Cosmetics, we have a palette I did myself. This is the bigger, the biggest size. And as you can see, we have a mix of matte and shimmer, and we have a mix of nude colors like this one, this, this, this brown, this black, and a, a rusty color and color shade. And take a look to this one and this, and also this one shade here. They are all so great. Oh, sorry, wrong finger. Look, three different uh, turquoise bluish shade. This is a gold and this is a, a darker one. Because this is so, so beautiful. And uh, Little Cosmetics is from uh, Germany. So um, for European based person, you will not have any issue with the shipment. Still from Little, I have the right collection. There are three different palettes. Okay, let me pick up the last one. The first one is called Memento and is this nice warm tone palette. I did use this once actually. Uh, look, this shade are very, very pretty too. Uh, then we have, oh, my preferred one is the Destiny palette because you have purpley and pink and this particular white with look bluish undertones and, and pink also you see this is such a beautiful beautiful palette okay and last one is roots and this is a very nice color scheme you have green you have this beautiful matte yellow you have blue this is a very cute color all of the shade i'm showing you all of them are different look this is so this is all i have from little cosmetics i do not have any additional palette from them so let's go ahead Okay, let's go ahead with Lois Cosmetics. This is another UK indie brand. This is the rose gold, rose metal, sorry, rose metal palette. This is, as you can imagine, a pink rosy tone palette. You have a beautiful matte uh, um, black, sorry, black. And you have such particular shade in here. Look, all of these shades are so pretty, so, so pretty. So beautiful. Uh, this is our second uh, palette. Look at the print on, on the palette. This is so beautiful. Then we have Gone Rouge. I have three looks, one palette for this one too. And this is our first palette and this is stunning. This is a, a rainbow palette with such beautiful green and this blue also. It's very beautiful. Then we have this shimmer 
bright fuchsia and this gold look at this gold how pretty it is and then you have this is the the, the shade they're giving the name to the palette gone rouge but this is a glitter shade so let's have a look i do not like glitters as you can imagine I do not like this shade, even though the, the glitters are very pretty. But, you know, they are very difficult for me to use uh, because I'm wearing contact lenses. That's why. Uh, all the mattes are very, very pigmented and they do not have any particular fallout. So this is a very great, great palette. And I think this one costs around 20 pounds. So it's quite cheap, actually. Last one. We have uh, the latest release and this is Meet Me in the Underworld. This is a very stunning palette for autumn and winter season. And look, this is so beautiful. Look at this green. Oh, it's stunning. And the gold and the other green in here. Look, and the olive. This is so, so pretty. I love this shade. All of the shades are good, but these four are the best shade in the palette. I can create the same look forever and ever and be satisfied every time. They are so beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead with Stacy Alex. This is a makeup artist from uh, um, Bielorussia. I don't know the word in English actually. And she released a lot of uh, five pen palettes inspired by birds. And uh, this is, I have a, a reel with this one. This is the blue hummingbird. I'm sorry, not a reel, a, sh a video that was supposed to be on Instagram but it was too long but look at her shades oh my god these are too beautiful oh, I need to to play with this one a little bit more actually um, now if you are from Europe you will pay custom duty now from uh, since uh, 1st of July but let me say that this palette are stunning this is the mauve pelican and also the matte let me show you the matte the matte are great you can't see very well this shade because it's very very similar to my skin tone can you see look these are so pretty, so, so pretty. Then I think we have to be a little bit faster. Then we have uh, Old Moon. Look at the silver. Then we have uh, Chocomina. I don't know which bird it is, but this is a chocolate shade. Then we have uh, Golden Kinglet. I even don't know this one, but look at this. Oh, this is stunning. And also the gold. Look, this is a rose gold shade. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have a uh, pink robin. This is another beautiful, beautiful shade. I will stay on the east of uh, Europe and show you the Bernovich palette I have. Bernovich is another uh, brand, I think it's from um, Russia or similar to. Uh, this is the Stone Collection and this one is called Onyx. This is another uh, natural tone shadows these are also very very creamy Look. okay I need to put them back because they do not have the name on the palette Jade this is the green one look at these greens oh these are so pretty so so pretty and the, the shipment was very very fast shell this is another neutral palette actually 
it's a ro rosy tone look this is neutral with a um, undertone a pink undertone then we have obsidian oh this is very nice look you have uh, a, a, a rough shade the black this gunmetal it's very very beautiful come on then you have a gold this pink gold all of them they are very very pretty then we have quartz I guess this one is a new shade okay this shade is uh, uh, I think uh, it, it was wet by me of course uh, so I need to to, to, um, to dust off uh, a layer uh, but this is so beautiful too I think I used a wet finger uh, this one is aquamarine and as you can guess it's the blue one and look at this blue here look oh they are so beautiful i think i have this shade in different brand and all of them are pretty very very pretty and last one okay last one is uh amethyst and this is the purple one and maybe it is a little less um uh, let, I don't know the word in English, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's very, very nice too. Look at this lavender shade. Look how pretty it is. This is great. And also the another gunmetal and also this one and this one. Ah, oh, too beautiful. Okay, let's move to the north in Europe and this is uh, wooden size from Sweden. This is Halva 2 Mini Forest Palette. I will not swatch anymore, otherwise we will take too long. Okay, I can't. Look, look at the beauty of this shade. Uh, this brand is so pretty. Also the mattes are very nice and also the, the the history behind their palette is very cute these are inspired by uh, north uh, meats this is the mini ocean this is a bluish shade look at this shade in here but also this matte blue look at how beautiful it is then we have alva second mini sky palette and this or is a, a purpley neutral shade and look at this this is so beautiful okay so let's go ahead with other three mini palette this is the mini eyeshadow hood from uh, um, the, the I, I do not remember the name of, of this collection uh, okay uh, i don't know and as you can see i've used this one a little bit more than the other and also this green look i love this this green tone it's very very cute and this is very nice uh, the north collection okay the north collection then we have schooled schooled is this one this is a rainbow palette look at this orangey Oh, this is so luminous that that's great and last one we have the Verdandi palette and this one I love also the print on, on the palette they are so beautiful this is a neutral more neutral more more easily to use palette and look at the brown and also this orangey red orangey shade these are very very cute then I also have some of their bigger palettes. Let's start with Freya. Freya from Food and Size. Still, this is, a, I think, one of the oldest. And look at this beauty. 
beautiful beautiful this has a micro glitter silver micro glitter inside i think i have just swatched this one but never tried yet because i have a lot of new palette and look this is stunning but i will i will then we have the alba a shadow palette and this is cute this is my color scheme actually so look at the lilac oh the lilac is my favorite shade and also this one is called dandelion it's reddish and also this matte okay this this pen are very very small my finger doesn't fit very very well <laughs> and then we have the nose palette and this is the beauty the beauty of this print it's so nice so this is a, another palette that i it's called winter for me but it's still look at these greens oh so beautiful and also this shade here is so so different it's not easy to find a similar shade anywhere and then we have the freya saga so let's start with Freya, I don't know, Freya number two, one, number two, no, so number one is this one, chapter one, Tears of Freya, I have a look with all of this, this palette, and this shade are stunning, the palette is a little bit bulk, I prefer smaller, th thinner palette actually, but look, the palette itself, it's very cute, then we have the number two, chapter two, cat with golden carriage and even though i thought that this one should uh, will will be a, a difficult palette to play with it's not it's very easy look how this okay take a look at the mat because the shimmer you know they are great but look at this mat they are very very beautiful and last one we have the double ended palette and this is called the Freya Saga palette and this this one we have two sides the first one is this one and this is a neutral purpley um, neutral purpley shade sh um, shade palette yes yeah, sorry I, I had a notification on the phone and I do not understand why <laughs> and next one the other side okay sorry this one is still a neutral because you have one two three four color that are still um neutral and then you have this particular shade in here with a lot of reflect and also this one it's very very cute and look i have a dirty hand actually but they are have so many reflects this is very very cute beautiful 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 collection Okay, let's go ahead with Mulac. This is an Italian brand, an Italian Hindi brand. I think the most famous palette from, uh, from this brand is the In My Birthday Suite. And I have to say that this is a very, very cute palette. I love, love this two shade in here. Oh, look, this is gorgeous. And also this one. I always use this one of these two shades when I do a look with this I always do th use this one and this one and this one and maybe this two and this one also so this is a very very nice shade and it's very easy to play with you can um, you can do a lot of different looks with this one next one is the milf palette I hate the name actually but however I'm not here to judge. This is the palette. This one, uh, okay. This shade is disturbing me actually because I don't see the point to have such a dark green look. An emerald dark green, I don't know. All the other shades are, uh, are, are paired together very well but this one no i don't know i think i've never used this one on my high just swatch it look at this um uh mustardy shade this is so cute and also this brown it's very very beautiful but the green no <laughs> i do not understand why 
uh, but the brand, the quality is very very good last one this is the newest one it has released in august 2021 i guess and this is the unconnected and this is a very beautiful i haven't played with this on my eyes just swatched and look at this gray uh this is a very beautiful gray and look at the blue this is stunning and also the other one and also this shade called the legendary i do not see the point to have a very bright pink and bright yellow but i guess yellow and blue will pair together quite well while the pink will pair with this shade here well, i don't know i need to play with this one i will do a video too with this 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 palette in the future so we will see but the palette is very very cute okay let's move to singapore and to kaleidos this is the futurism one shifi green and i think this one this is one of the my best but most used palettes from kaleidos as you can guess from this shade uh, this is so pretty. I love Kaleidos. This is the Astro Pink Futurism number three. The only thing I hate is the package. And look, look at this shade and this two, these two shades. They are so beautiful. I think we have seen this kind of blue almost twice or three times in my collection but it's so beautiful then we have the number seven sashimi palette and this one also it's very pretty this is a very easy to use nude palette with a, a very bright shimmer shade in here the salmon skyline this is very cute and then we have the lunar lavender also this one is so beautiful and as you can guess okay this shade was broken so i had to repress it back into the palette and i still look and also this purpley shade and this matte brown is so good so good and also this one you can very you can play very very um nicely with this palette then we have the cyber bronze and even though i thought that this one will be the most my most used palette it's not but i've used it yes i have but you know that now that i'm looking at it this three shade i think i have in one of the melt palettes however sorry uh, uh, this is very very beautiful i love this silver Oh, this is so beautiful actually last one is the uh, number five electro turquoise and I think this one is the one I I've used the less because time ago when I bought these palettes I was not so keen in using bright color now I am so I think I will play more with this orangey shade actually so we will see uh, then i have two bigger palettes from kaleidos the first one is the skate pod i didn't bought this one at the release but i bought in a late stage and i'm very happy that i bought because it's very very nice the bright shades are stunning, but also the mattes, even the blue that I do not like very, very much. This is a mix between blue and lavender, and I don't know. And also this shade here is very cute, and also the bright pink, the bright fuchsia. Okay, so as you, I, I really love the Kaleidos quality, uh, and they perform very, very well on the eye. Last one i have the club nebula and uh i think one is missing okay we will see the club nebula is the perfect let me say the perfect palette i can imagine look at this green and look at this shimmer uh oh, this is so stunning look at this pink orangey shade this is very very pretty i cannot imagine anything better than this palette from kaleidos
this is very very beautiful and i know this is not available anymore i'm so sorry if you haven't had the chance to buy because this is the best release from kaleidos yes it is okay this is the only palette i have from this brand the brand is called the beauty mark cosmetics since is from us i do not remember the state this was the release from uh, uh, let me say uh, halloween i guess and uh, look at the palette okay this shade is a press glitter jack o lantern it's a very beautiful glitter but i do not like it of course but look at the black and this shimmery shade the palette is very very cute i played once only with this palette but i'm very satisfied uh, of the quality so if you have the ch have the chance to take a look at beauty market cosmos you can read the name in here this is a very pretty palette then i have another single palette this is from hattish schmidt i don't know if i pronounce this correctly this is the holy palette i i recorded a video with this one but it wasn't a very the look was very pretty but the video was a very bad quality so i think i will record it again but look the palette it's uh, it's not very inspiring to me looking at the first sight but look at this blue and at this one and this li lilac bluish shade this cons this gray oh, i love grays actually the, the 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 quality is very very good this is another european brand from um, germany i'm not sure from which city she is uh, i don't know but uh, um they she has also another palette called daily but i uh, i didn't have that one uh, next one let's go with Juvia's I just have three from Juvia's I have the Melissa palette for, uh, in collaboration with Juvia Juvia this is a, a four pen palette this one is a glitter uh, I did wrong buying this one actually I didn't like this one so so much but uh, this is a quad I will keep it then I have the Warrior 2 by Juvia's. Uh, this Juvia's uh, arrived in a period that um, I couldn't play with them so much. So as you can see, the palette is, uh, looks untouched. I just swatched this one actually. But look, uh, the quality of this matte is very, very high. And last one, I have the Nomad by Juvia's. This is a very pretty palette. This is perfect for autumn and winter time. Uh, I love this shade, this olive brownish. Um, oh, they are very, very cute. So I don't think I will buy from Juvia's uh, in the future, but the palette I have, except for the Melissa one, are very, very good quality back again in us this is from nomad and this is the pa okay let me talk america spark and this is a very cute palette and the quality of this palette is very very high i've played with this one uh, t for two or three days uh in a row and i was always satisfied by the look i did but look at this this one Oh, this is very very cute and I've seen they have released a new palette for um, Olympic Games and also that one look stunning uh, shipping took not a very long time but I do not remember the fees for shipping but let me say that this one is a very cute palette you also have a lot of shade to play with so Nomad is a very very good brand then I have this one from Darling Doll. This is from US too. And this is the palette. You also have a light in the mirror. You can see. <laughs> you have the, uh, these are glitters, so I will not touch them. But all the other shades are very, very good. Look at this one. This duochrome. Can you see? Oh, this is stunning 
so this is another very good palette and look at, at the print outside very cute then I have from Alien Cosmetics from US all I ever wanted this is a full zero-chrome shade okay let me remove this one and look Oh, this is so beautiful okay let me swatch different shades because I always watch the pinkish but look at this can you see the reflect oh this is great 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 I'm waiting for another palette from Alien Cosmetics actually then we have oh the Midas Midas the Perception palette. I have a look on my channel with this one, but all the look I did with this palette today were stunning. Look, look at this green. Ah, oh, beautiful and the blue and the orange. And let me swatch one particular shade. This one. Look. The quality is very high, they have a very small price. Uh, Midas is uh, from uh, Puerto Rico, if I'm not wrong, but from, uh, um, it's not US, but it's from Central America. It's a, a Latin owned, woman owned in demand. So this is uh, uh, so beautiful, so beautiful then let's go ahead I think we have to split this one in two at least this is from uh, uh, Europe UK uh, uh, unique beauty this is the fashion spring collection released this spring you have three smaller palettes the first one is called bubble time and you have this shade this is the palette my my daughter always go through. Then you have me, myself, and I, and this is the another. This is an easier palette to play with. You have one special shade, and then two uh, shimmer metallics and three mattes. Oh, uh, this is very pretty, and they have lowered the shipping price for Europe. And then pamper me. And also these two shades they were broken, so I had to repress them back. But look, this is a gold, pink, and and brownish shade. It's a very very particular. And look at this one. You have so many reflect. Or maybe I have too many lights on. I don't know. But and they have released other two collection the first one was inspired by J japan japan <laughs> japanese culture i have uh, i haven't and the last one was inspired by africa and i'm waiting for it okay i have another palette from midas this is the flower bomb palette this is very big you have a lot of glitter inside look one two three four five six glitter palette shades i hate glitter i i haven't understand that this one this six shade were glitter actually when i ordered it but all the remaining shades are very very cute all of them are um matte unless clover uh, rose marsh rose mellow and blossom but the, the matte shade are very very good quality oh sorry i look at this one. Oh, this is stunning and this was on sale i guess when i bought it then we have okay let me see okay color pop i have a few actually i think i have two more Okay, here they are. This is Midnight Masquerade from the Disney collection. This is the, the print is so beautiful. Uh, 
and fabulous. Uh, you have two glitter shades with glitter so big. I don't know who, who, who will play with this shade, but all the remaining shades are quite good. Uh, I like this one also. This is a green bluish um, shade and also uh, this matte shade here. Oh, sorry here are quite nice they blend very well so the quality of color pop it's good i understand why it's so famous in the u.s uh, but i don't know i don't think i will order anything soon from europe boudoir noir this is a very uh, winter palette so i have played with this one just once because it arrives at the end of the winter but I love the, 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 the color scheme it's very very cute oh this one this is the collaboration with the Rob Beauty Christie all for the site this is another winter palette but it's very very beautiful I love all the shades there are no glitter inside the palette this is a very very pretty palette then we have Mulan. I played with this one quite a bit and it's nice. As you can see, I have used this shade so much. You don't have any glitter in here, if I'm not wrong. Maybe this one. No, it's not a glitter. It's just crunchy, but it's not glitter. Uh, this palette is very cute also. It's neutral. You have a lot of different shades. Okay, this is very nice. Then I have that taupe this is good actually i liked it and then i have going coconut i prefer this package actually this is a little bit too light i don't know uh it's not bad that this brown is is a, a quite dark but this shade they look so similar on your eyes so I'm not sure I'd like it so, so much. Okay, I have another palette from Kaleidos. I forgot. I was thinking that there should be something more. But, and here it is. This is the Flower Punk palette from Kaleidos. <laughs> this is the latest release. The package is quite cute. The, the, the print is cute. But... Um, I don't know, it's a little bit dangerous for the eyeshadow below, you can uh, just uh, attach the, the top like this. And this is the palette, this is very very pretty, I haven't played with this one so much actually, I have to. I have to play with this one a little bit more because it's very very beautiful. The package is similar to the melt, so this one was near to my melt palette actually so here they are we have the blueprint i haven't touched this one yet because it's quite new for me you have four different uh, brown shade and four different uh, blue shade one two matte and all the other are metallics and shimmery shade but look this is very cute and this blues okay i need to change my battery okay i was saying that the blue was quite beautiful and they are actually so this is the sides that i prefer the most the sides is the same of the smoke obsession smoke session as you can see i've played with this one quite a bit if even with this shade that it's very very um particular to me it was now i'm playing a little bit more with the with color but ages before i was not and also i love this brown gray gr gr green shade Oh, this is very beautiful. This palette is so pretty, so pretty. Then we have the 420 palette. I know a lot of people say that this one was not good, but I'm not. I have a different opinion. Uh, as you can see from the uh, missing print, I've played quite a bit with this palette and look how can you say this is not 
good quality. Yes, it is. I think that maybe someone has a different um, production lot because I could not imagine a better quality for this palette. So maybe I'm lucky. I was not with the Anastasia um, uh, one, but I'm lucky with this one. And the print outside, this is so beautiful. Then there is the famous, the famous Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I like this one so much too. This is another winter palette. Look, oh, this is stunning. And then I have the last one. Come on. I know this is very difficult to focus on such shiny. This one, this is good. I think it's, it's missing some verb, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, some vibe, maybe it's missing something uh, very rusty, very shimmery. I don't know because this shade I'm not so so okay. This one it is actually, but uh, uh, maybe something more orangey. I, I, I think you know what I mean. The palette is good, uh, do, not, do, do not take me wrong, the palette is good, but uh, something, something is missing. And last one, uh, the Mary Jane. From, this, from the uh, video, the promo video on their uh, uh, Instagram profile, I thought this one grayish, should, be, should have been grayish and black and something similar also uh, because of the color of the package but this is not absolutely not this is a brown palette it's good don't do not get me wrong it's good i like this one and this shade here in the corner they are very pretty but they are not what i expected so i'm happy i bought yes but i thought it was something different so it's i'm a little bit on the on the sad side okay let's go back to uk and this is certified this is the affinity 2 palette i have played once only with one of this palette and this is not the one I played with, but the quality of this brand is very, very high. I don't know why they are not releasing anything uh, soon and nobody is talking about this brand because it's very, very good. Look, they are very good. I don't know why. Uh, they are also quite good, bl good blend they have also a good blend look i'm i don't know i don't know i i know that uh, uh times ago someone was talking about this brand but nowadays no one is talking about it the la the second one is the destiny palette look how can you say that this is not a beautiful palette you have a lot of shades to play with they have a few shimmer one two three only but this i think they are enough then we have the tropical wonder and as you can imagine this is quite a rainbow palette i i bought a lot of rainbow palette uh, lately the dynasty palette this is another rainbow palette but it's a little bit different Take a look one by one. I hope you can see. <laughs> and last one, the Affinity palette. This is a warm tone, a purple, reddish palette, and this is a full matte. These are are pairing very well with the, uh, the full duochrome palettes I have. Then we have the Lunar Beauty. Life is a drug facelift. I've tried this one once. I've done a video, so you will find it on my channel sooner or later. And this is how the palette looks like. Uh, I've played with the, the brownish shade. They are good, but also I guess also the color will be of the same quality. 
uh, you have only three shimmer that's a pity because uh, you have six and six and only three I don't know why um, but the palette is very very nice uh, and I will play a little bit more with this one too then we have this is a, a self-made palette from the pastel roses from UK and this is uh, okay this shade let me move down the shade that are not from this brand I guess this one too is not oh yes this is so all of this upper shade are from the pastel rose they are all special shade also the print on the shade is so pretty this is watermelon look or maybe this is watermelon let me see botanic so this one is watermelon look this is stunning this is pink and green and this also but we have two different Color. I don't know if you can see them from the camera, maybe a little bit, you can see a little bit of difference. Difference is uh, heavier from real. If you are in UK or in Europe, go ahead and check them out. Also the palette came from them. Let's go to Australia. This is the Geology Cosmetics. So this is their first palette, the Pilbara palette. I have done a three looks one palette uh, video and this is how the palette looks like. It costs around 50 to uh, American, uh, US, Australia, Australia dollars and it is inspired from Australia Pilbara region. And look, uh, this is so beautiful. The only shade I have some uh, issue is this one. I don't know, but now I can see it quite good. I don't know, maybe I have to. Make it a little bit crunchier, I don't know. Look, it's very, very uh, soft, uh, but all the other shade I loved them so this is a very very nice palette so let me see okay uh, makeup by Mario it's an indie brand I'm not sure maybe this is a uh, this is not an indie oh let me know uh, I will put uh, it in here but I'm not sure this is the full metallic master metallics palette from makeup by Mario this is quite uh, this is brand new as you can see I haven't removed the protection of the mirror I've used this shade once and that's it because the palette is brand new but let me say that the shimmer are very very creamy okay let's go back to Colourpop I I was looking for in the in the in the wardrobe uh, where these palettes are they were in the wrong position this is the Mandalorian from Star Wars uh, from Colourpop and this is so cute I love the uh, the palette the cutest in the galaxy yes it is actually it is so look at this greens I love greens you know <laughs> this is very very cute and the other one is baroque this is another winter palette look okay you can think this palette is all gray but it's not uh, but the, the reflecting uh, color of the palette is not uh, um, helping at all okay these are the perfect color, I guess. Okay, they are not, but they are quite similar. So I have just to have a look. Look. Maybe they are not so strong on the finger, but they are very, very cute. And then we have another. I love this palette. This is the Break the Rules 
palette from It's Bell Cosmetics. I was looking if any, okay, yes, the, here is the brand name, It's Bell Cosmetics. This is another US indie brand and look at this beauty. They are releasing a new palette uh, uh, in the next future and I will for sure pick it up because this shadow quality is stunning. They are all duo or triochrome. Look at this. Look at this. I washed my hand in the middle way. Look. Oh my God. These are so pretty. I brought with on vacation with me this palette and the Perception palette from Midas and another one I will show you in a moment. So if you have the chance to try an indie brand, try this one or the or Midas or the one I'm I'm going to talk in a second. And this is it. This is simply Posh Cosmetics. This is the Coffee Blend palette. This is a neutral palette. And this is very good. This is very good. Okay, let me show you two color, two shades that you think they will look the same on the eye, but they will not. I assure you, they will not. And not sponsored by them, but I really, really love their quality. And the other one, this is uh, the one I... Um, brought on vacation is the mint cherry and I'm waiting for other two palettes from Simply Posh Cosmetics and this is how the palette looks like you have a mix of brown um, pink reds greens and neutral with this silver shade and look at this and this green and this green oh my god they are so pretty and also the, 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 the neutral shade, the brown shade are very good. Look at this one and look at the black. Okay, I, I did wrong. I had the, a little bit of humidity on my finger. But look at this one. Oh, this is so beautiful, so pretty. Uh, okay, I will not show you all the Glam Shop palettes I have because they are, let me count them, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are uh, five done by myself and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bigger and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen smaller palettes, and the latest one I haven't count the uh, essential palette. So they are too too much to go ahead. Uh, I will um, also not show the Nabla palette because I have a dedicated video and nothing has changed since that one uh, so let's go ahead with some bigger palettes okay we are almost done this is Wama Beauty this is available on Beauty Bay and this is her uh, bleh, let me know. good morning Zamunda palette uh, this is brand new so I haven't tried it yet on my eyes just let's do a few swatches Okay, this shade is strange. Let's see. Mm, not sure. This is better. And this one is better too, actually. Oh, we will see. Then we have this one uh, from Zizia Cosmetics. This is a Chinese indie brand. I think it's an indie brand. I'm not sure, actually. This uh, brand is Zizia. I'm not, I don't know what the pronunciation should be. And this was in collaboration with the um, British Museum in London. This is Alice in Wonderland, the Dreamland, a shadow. Um, Oh, this is so cute. You have two glitters. This is not so cute actually, but this shade here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look how luminous it is. Uh, I'm curious to try the bigger palettes from this brand. 
Uh, I haven't and I will not uh, in the near future because if I have to play with some new palette I will go ahead with um, with uh, indie brand, uh, smaller indie brand. Then I have this sample Beauty, the painter's palette. This was a gift with an order by Beauty Bay and I've tried this one once or two but let me say the quality of the sample beauty um, shadow is very very high. I um, I don't thought, I don't, uh, I haven't thought it should have been, oh, it's too difficult. Let me think for a second. Uh, let's, I thought it was not so good, but actually it is. It was a surprise for me. I don't know why I thought that it was not a very good brand. I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't hear a lot talking to other people about this brand, but it's very, very cute. This finger was dirty. It's very cute, actually. Look. They are very pigmented and that's the first one and then okay I have another palette from Be Perfect but I don't know where I put it <laughs> okay we will we will see maybe I will put it in another video this is the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti I Stacy Mary makeup artist. I think anyone is talking about this palette and that's a reason because this is gorgeous and there is a new release is coming at the end of August that I will buy for sure that one because I love this. Okay, let me just... Uh, let me just dry a little bit better my finger okay i think this is better with a, a brush let's try Okay, I will not swatch the um, the shimmer shader because it's easier. But look, okay, I love this palette, but the next one, and I think the last one, maybe the last one, is the Dream Big Manifest Manifest Dream Big. And this is better for me, better than the Stacy Mary Carnival Tree. This one is so beautiful. You also have some special shade actually that are very, very cute. Let's play with some shade in here. Uh, let's try the blue and look. Okay, maybe I had before a little bit wet on my... Um, on my finger because look at how they swatch now yes this is stunning i will show you also the beauty bay beauty bay palette uh, i have two i don't know if beauty bay is to be considered an indie brand or not what do you think maybe yes because it's um uh, it's just uh, um a reseller I don't know how to say I have two and I have the collaboration with Nikki tutorial and this is ugly <laughs> okay shimmers shimmers are great actually shimmers are very very good quality but the matte in this palette were awful awful and you can look how many deep 
I have in this palette in shades that I'm not used to play so much look on the on the light blue sorry we were out of camera look at the out that light blue and the pink and the purple the brown the the, the, the red and also the blue so um, this was not good at all the shimmer shade yes but the mattes no I bought and I have prepared a five looks one palette the wilderness from beauty bay and this this is stunning guys this is hurry up and buy buy this one because it's so good the matte are so good they are hard, more hardly pressed and they are stunning they are blendable but they will not disappear uh, i did five looks only but i could have done 15 looks 15 different looks or maybe more uh, this palette is gorgeous this is one of the okay one of the most beautiful palette of 2021 with the club nebula and a few other uh, the few other indie brand for sure okay this is a very very nice nice palette i will say that you have to buy this one um okay i think we are done so this was a very very long video uh i hope you enjoy and if you do please leave me a comment and leave me a thumbs up or join the family if you want to see more i will do another video another similar video for the uh high hand uh, um, and drugstore um, palette but not indie so you will find uh, essence catrice uh, um, natasha denona uh, huda beauty and so on uh, okay i'm tired <laughs> have a nice day bye guys